Hello friends. You can see this. Holy cow, Katie, you're really late on these videos. Yeah, funny story about that. It's been a really, really busy two weeks. So, yes. Finally getting back into this, looking at season 14, episode 23, Immersion, Warthog Flip. They put Miles back in the suit, didn't they? They put Miles back in the suit. We're gonna watch this. Let's see how this goes. All right, dude. There we go. Something. We're a few stories in now, and I've had to drain the old hose since about episode two. You catch my drift. Gotta make it my number one priority. You know what I'm saying? Been making a point to hydrate. Now paying the price in gold. You're following me. You're an AI. I'm saying I gotta pee. Now, don't ask how a computer program takes a leak. Just watch these guys mess around with some science stuff. Bomb well, gone. You're an AI. Why did we? Okay. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Relax. The bobblehead on the glass. This is a rocky road. The warthog we're driving now. <laughs> I'm enjoying Lopez a lot. Bless. Bless. Welcome to a very special red versus blue immersion. We've come out here to our Rooster Teeth Test Canyon to run an experiment with one of the most iconic and beloved video game vehicles of all time. The Halo Warthog. Now, if you've ever played the game Halo before, the players can often drive the Jeep in such a way that it ends up on its roof. To get it back on its wheels, all the player needs to do is press a button, and it'll turn itself over in less than three seconds. As you can see behind me, we have placed a real-life Warthog very delicately on its roof. Oh, boy. We're going to find out what it takes to flip a Warthog in real life. And to help me conduct this experiment, I have recruited a Leverage. very special lab rat, Mr. Miles Luna. You know, I can't help but feel like I was a little more forced than recruited. Well, forcing is a very important part of the immersion recruitment process, Miles. You should know that by now. <laughs> so would you say that you are familiar with the Halo franchise? <gasps> I would say that I am mildly to moderately familiar with Halo. Okay, well then I'm sure you've God seen bless. this scenario before then. Oh yeah, a thousand times. Okay, how would you handle this in the game? Uh, well, I'd you know, just walk up to it, hit that little X button, and it'd be right as open. All right, well since we can't do that in real life, our control today, and every good experiment has a control, is that Miles is going to attempt to flip the Warthog back over using just his brute strength. Just me. Just you. Really? Yep. And we think that might work. Oh, yeah. We're going to go through that whole song and dance. Or, oh, he might do it. Who knows? What do I care? I'm not the one wearing the armor. I'm going to go work on my tan. In a lab coat? All right, Miles, you ready? I want you to flip it in three, two. I don't know why I'm timing this. Just flip it. Go. Honey, no. Under the yeah, Miles, that's better. Not with your back, not with your legs. Come on. No, Bernie. Please, your daddy. Oh, God. God damn it! It's almost like it's a car. You're just missing an action or on the back. Get in with the hips. Be forceful with it. Just be forceful. Don't be afraid. There you go. Good hustle. All right. Well, that's disappointing, but predictable. All right, come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get in here. 
But clearly that wow. didn't go very well. What did you expect? <laughs> well, I don't know. I thought maybe you'd flip it over. You'd get hurt and that'd be funny or something. I heard you've been working out. What happened with that? I don't have to lift two tons. All right. Well, clearly since one person cannot flip the warthog on his own, we don't want to give up. What would be the fun of that? Why don't we head back into the shop and figure out what it's going to take to flip this bad boy over? Leverage. Back to the Rooster Teeth workshop to show you exactly how we're going to get this enormous beast back on its wheels. And in order for us to do that, we brought in our newest scientist, Mr. Marcus Laporte. Marcus, what are our challenges Hello, in human this being. bad boy back on its wheels? Okay, well, first and foremost, we had to make this thing structural. Uh, when we first got it, it was really more decorative. The Rooster Teeth effect scene will use steel plates to reinforce the truck frame so the Warthog can actually sit upside down, essentially creating a roll cage. We will also weld large metal rings to the body of the truck, which will then be connected by cable to a pneumatic ram. The pneumatic ram will use compressed nitrogen to pull our vehicle back onto its wheels. In Halo, players flip the Warthog okay. in mere seconds. To do that in real life, we'll require between 1,000 and 1,500 PSI. That's more than 37,000 pounds of force. I don't usually watch immersion. So we're just kind of myth-bustering this. -ish. Okay, so if this goes according to plan, we should go from this to that. Yeah, no, I get, I get it. I know, I just wanted to show you the model. <laughs> so Marcus, how are we going to set this up? <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. What do you care? All right, I'm afraid to touch it. So I hit this, and then that warthog flips. It's an easy it button. It's right, beautiful. Let's it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Lost the bobblehead. one I mean it was interesting and believe it or not I honestly could have gone more for the sciencey side of this than the live action bit like it was it was okay it was a thing I watched it it was nice it was okay and that's basically all that I have really I mean it occurred not that <laughs> 
I watched this one on YouTube because I'm so late watching it and one of my uh, videos is a sister location video and it's like, oh, that, that's disturbing, recording with that looking at me, so yay. A little distracted. Yeah, that's, it wasn't a bad episode by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't usually watch immersion, so I would imagine that a chunk of it was lost on me in the same way that a bit was lost on me during the Reservoir Dogs episode, just because I haven't seen it. So yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. Yay. Um, we are, we got the usual going on. We actually have the Red vs. Blue After Buzz season finale after show this Wednesday at 7 p.m. And we're having a guest call again, so you should watch and it'll be fun. Yes, 7 p.m. Pacific time on AfterBuzzTV.com and AfterBuzzTV's YouTube. You should watch it. It'll be great. You can follow me on almost all of the social medias at Kiaxe, that is K-I-A-X-E-T. You can follow our sister network Silver Screams at Silver underscore Screams or just search for Silver Screams on YouTube. We've had a bit of a break because as people we've been on a break and we'll, we will get back into it as soon as we can manage in terms of timing. We are still doing Scream Queens. It is, it's actually a hell of a lot of fun. Oh my God. We got a who wore it better question up right now. The uh, green meanie or the red devil. My vote's red devil, but that's me. And yeah, all of that fun stuff. If you want to support this channel, I have a Kofi. The link is in the description below. So that's fun. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.